The Supreme Court has dismissed a petition that sought to compel government to conduct mass testing. The IETF insists the country's testing capacity is enough, but Vice President Lenny Robledo begs to disagree. Jenny Deng Dongon tells us more. The Supreme Court junked the petition that seeks to compel the government to conduct proactive mass testing and contact tracing in addressing the pandemic. With a vote of 13-1-1, the higher court dismissed the petition for mandamus. It means that the petitioners, led by former DSWD Secretary Judy Tagiwalo, failed to show they are entitled to the writ. Petitioners define proactive mass testing as testing of all suspected COVID-19 cases, contacts of probable and confirmed cases, frontline health workers, and those living in high-risk communities. But the High Court explained that their job is to say what the law is and not dictate how another branch of the government should do its job. The National Union of People's Lawyers, who are also petitioners, expressed disappointment by the decision. Uh, we're not disheartened by the made the decision, but uh, you know, we, will, we will continue to fight for uh, the people's right to health and right to information amid the pandemic. Nakita naman natin, tumataas pa rin yung bilang ng mga um, uh, COVID-19 um, positive cases natin. Sa kabila ng napakahaba na ng ating um, quarantine period, and yet uh, wala pa rin tayo nakikita ang um, improvement pagdating doon sa uh, pagkalat ng the palace has since downplayed the petition, stressing that the government has an efficient testing program for COVID-19. Meanwhile, the IATF also disputed claims that the country still has a low testing capacity. National Task Force for COVID-19 Chief Implementer Carlito Galvez Jr. insisted that the Philippines has a better testing program compared to Japan and South Korea. He added that the government already tested 2.9 million individuals. The country has currently 122 laboratories and additional 102 for approval. September However, Vice President Lena Robredo still urges the government to conduct more COVID-19 testing. She said the current testing capacity is not enough for the increasing positivity rate in the country. Yung, yung earlier na earlier na targets na kuha na natin, yung 30,000 tests a day. Pero ang positivity rate natin ka any more than average as of yesterday, 10.6% pa din. Para makuha natin yung target na to, mag-test pa tayo na mag-test. Kulang pa. Malacanang was quick to answer Robredo's comment. Of course, nothing will ever be enough for uh, someone na hindi nakakakita ng kahit anong mabuti sa pamahalaan. Pero sa ngayon po, pinakamataas na po ang testing natin sa Southeast Asia, mas mataas pa po sa Korea at sa Japan. Ipapatuloy pa po natin ito dahil kung kinakailangan, dapat tayo pinakamataas sa testing sa buong mundo. But for the petitioners, it's not just about the numbers. The numbers will not lie in my name. The fact na marami pa rin, uh, nagsasearch pa rin, nagsasfind pa rin yung, um, yung uh, bilang ng mga positive cases natin, it only means one thing, na hindi pa rin maayos yung system natin with regard to uh, mass testing, uh, uh, proactive mass testing, um, uh, contact tracing and isolation. So yun yung... The petitioners will file a motion for reconsideration. For the meantime, they vow to exhaust all legal and meta-legal remedies in compelling the government to conduct mass testing. For News 5, Jenny Dongon, We Are One News.